all right guys this is one of my favorite times of the year to fish as you can see by my hat a lot of shade today you can see over my, my shoulder tons of shade that's the cool thing about the fall is there's so much shade that i only throw two rods most of the time this time of year so without further ado we're gonna get out here got two rods laid on the front deck and that's I, I love i feel super comfortable with that and we're on this small little local lake we're about to hopefully go catch a few so there's some nice spotted bass being caught right now the big large mouth are few and far between you know like a two pounder is a really good one right now but the spotted bass are starting to play more and more and more in this lake so we'll go down there where spotted bass live and play around a little bit so let's go guys here's the two rods number one untamed tackle ace jig got me a green pumpkin cleanup car right here i'm gonna put on it you're gonna see that uh and people who remember i used to fish like this a bunch on these videos and i actually used to almost exclusively throw a half and for whatever reason the last couple years I've just kind of gravitated back towards a 3 8 which is what obviously I used to throw a ton whenever I was younger. I used to throw 3 8 a bunch, and I, then I moved up to a half. And over the years, I've kind of went back and forth. For whatever reason, right now I'm just kind of just kind of filling the 3 8 you know. So thread this up on there. This is a dirty crawl. This is my favorite. Donk is probably my number one favorite color of all time, but this is my close second. It's a really, really good color. See that sucker right there? I got to cut down pretty short. A little, little nice little jig right there. And then on a, let me put this pack up. Then a, I got a buzz bait right there. I'm just gonna put a black and blue green pumpkin cleanup crawl on the other bait i've got which is a buzz bait and I, you know i used to actually years ago i used to actually a strike king menace on a buzz bait but i they just kind of they work pretty good but they moved a lot and i didn't really like the body on them that much so i started using this i'd say last year and i really really like this cleanup crawl on the back of a buzz bait and i know it doesn't sound right to a crawl on the back of a buzz bait but it actually works really really well so those legs just kick and it's actually a really good buzz bait trailer surprisingly so i've caught a lot of fish like that throw a black one throw a white one whatever but uh without further ado let's put our rods back up there and we got stuff rigged up now so you see i had a gold blade on this when i was young that's about all i would throw would be a gold blade and then i got to wear I would throw the silver one a lot, but uh, either way, I don't think it really matters a ton, but this is a Lost River Lures buzz bait. Feels good. Feels like they're going to bite it. Feels like a buzzer day. Y'all know what I'm talking about when I say it feels like a buzzer day. This is a brand new buzz bait. It ain't quite broken in just yet. <clears throat> it won't take it too long though. We'll get it there. God, this is fun. I ain't even got a bite yet. This is already fun. All right. Y'all see that little cubby hole right up in there? That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's jig time in there. Let's see what we can get. Kind of going complete old school. I'm fishing a spot I used to fish all the time when I was about 15 or 16. I mean, really all the way up till I was like... 20, I guess I fished here a bunch, but that was before the spots completely took over the lake. 
So I used to catch big largemouth right here. Not anymore, really. And maybe today's the day. So, whenever the largemouth bites good, I, I come and I only target places where I feel like the largemouth are going to be sitting. But whenever it's a little bit tough like this, it makes me really have to go slow and actually pick apart a lot more of the dock. Because there's certain places where largemouth just get on the dock, certain places where the, you know, it's basically mostly spots. And I kind of forego the spotted bass type places when the largemouth are really biting. Right now they ain't, so we're going to... Can y'all see that buzzer coming back? Comment below, do y'all like a gold blade? A silver blade? Like a painted blade? Black blade? A lot of people like that black blade. I don't like a painted blade that much because they don't sound as good. Until you really, really get them broken in. The most likely place to get a bite is the outside poles. That's where you're going to get the most bites. But they're going to be mostly spots. Generally speaking. Come on. I used to get so excited going down this stretch right here. Our next big tournament that I've got not too far away on Lake of the Ozarks. So I'm gonna treat this like a little warm up. A little buzz bait, a little jig around docks. At least that's what used to work down there. This exact dock right here, for whatever reason, not very good. Don't know why. Them two boat ramps, this dock, none of it's very good. Occasionally I'll catch one underneath that float, but I remember from back in the day, this was, for whatever reason, I didn't never really catch them on this dock. Probably because the first few times I fished it, I didn't. Then I started going just super fast by it. Because that will do it. Just get in this little corner. And there's a lot of shade on the water and there's low light penetration. I typically, before the water gets really cold, I typically throw a pretty aggressive trailer like this cleanup crawl because i feel like it you know they can just feel it and see it from further they can feel it from further and then come check it out so it's one of the main reasons why in the early fall like a cleanup crawl as the water temp gets a little bit colder i'll obviously switch to a chunk style a little bit A lot of people like a plopper style bait, but I still just, still like that buzz bait a lot. All oh, those little nooks and crannies. Just never know. Makes you have to go slow, but you're making a lot of good casts. So 
so it's just you know kind of a necessary evil I'm kind of feeling like I need a white crawl in there that cleanup crawl kicks so hard it holds that buzz bait up or you can reel it really slow Also, I'm not the biggest fan of the wind. Whenever we have really defined shade, I don't think you, you have to have it. Earlier in the fall, I think you do need it. Or it definitely helps. But this time of year, I don't think it's... Uh, <coughs> I don't think you really have to have it. I don't feel like I catch them that much better in the shade. about in back posts. Tell you right now, this right here used to be automatic dog. One of the deals that happens has happened with a menace a lot too because that leg got caught on the hook a lot but these legs are a lot more durable than the other one i used to throw so come on where you at Definitely not too much wind. But it makes me feel like I need to, oh, I had a, something did it. it. Makes me feel like I need to really pick it apart when there's wind, because I know they, they can't pick it up from as far away. I actually uh, accidentally closed this rod in my day box. I like slammed it in the day box. I knew it was gonna be broken and I pulled it out. It was not broke and I flexed it a few times and it didn't break. So we're gonna see on the first hook set if I broke it. But I, I mean, I slammed it in that day box and it was just bent crooked. Really felt like it was gonna be, gonna be a goner. I mean, you, you slam a rod in something, it's typically gone, you know? I feel like they feel like they can find this buzz bait. Problem is we had a major front come through. We're right in the middle of it blowing out right now, which is not great conditions, honestly. But hey, we work with what we got around here. It ain't very often you get to fish in great conditions, you know, so shouldn't even expect to. 
kind of feels like spinnerbait weather. I ain't got one in here. Oh, that blinded me. Can't see nothing over there. I'm actually throwing 35 pound AMZ braid, Sunline AMZ braid on that buzz bait. 35. And I've got a 7.3 medium heavy rod that's, you know, a true 7.3 medium heavy. A lot of the 13 fishing rods are very, very powerful. That one's a true 7.3 medium heavy. The one I've got the jig on right here is a Muse. They're a hair powerful more powerful than you know a lot a lot of other brands 7.3s but i like it a lot for that jig you know because it still does load pretty fair like got a really good like 20 percent of it loads pretty well so I, I can cast really good with it and then obviously for a jig y'all know y'all know i like to lay the wood to them a little bit with a jig 20 pound sunline fluorocarbon 99% of the time I throw shooter. This right here is some new stuff I'm trying, but it's some sunline, high end line. Come on. Underneath this pontoon right here is, oh, about sunk it. Pontoon's typically a decent little cast. Hmm. Pick the pace up a little bit. Feels like this little pocket's just dead, man. Should have knew better. But I hadn't fished in here in so long. I was like, man, let's go in there and try. <coughs> I don't know. It's not the best day to be in here because of the conditions, but still, should be able to catch something. Can't catch nothing. It's just a bit extreme, a bit excessive. Oh, we ran right through a freaking pine tree. I remember that pine tree too from my whole daggum life. Well, it's a tough trolling motor, so it's fine. We don't catch one in the next hundred yards uh next whatever it is that dock we out this right here can be a good place oh i got me a baby one got me a baby boy that's a large mouth huh I kind of expected a spot. Oh, a little bitty old, little bitty old large mouth. I've had three of them little tiny bites in this pocket. Obviously, that's the first one that got it. Y'all notice that hook set? I just kept reeling. And then after he starts pulling, I leaned. That's kind of the best method i have found for a hook set with a buzz bait on braid a lot of guys like mono i know some guys throw it on fluoro i like it on braid just because of how well it casts to me but uh i just like braid when you throw it on braid you really need to not set the hook because buzz baits typically don't have a huge hook in them. So 
So you really just need to start just real, you know. Come on. I got him. I got him. He's a tiny one. It's another largemouth. That's actually a bit surprising. Really small largemouth. And I think that's a good sign, right? Those are spots like always, seems like. But not right now. Battery died again. Give me a new battery once more. Oh, I like a decent one. See, I set the hook. He got my legs. And I changed battery, stood up, made one cast. It was a bad one, too, really. So good. Just crazy. Hmm, missed it. A little bitty one. Largemouth, too. He just slurped it. It's a pretty decent one. They get brown like that. That water starts turning over. It's a good one. Slurped him all clean up crawl off the surface. What's wrong with that, boy? Oh, seawall bass. Dad gum it. I don't know if I've caught a dad gum spot yet. I figured that's all I would catch, spots. I ain't caught nothing but bags on the large now. Come down here and... Gosh! What is that one? It's another large now. Look at that. <clears throat> nice fish. Too nice one. I'll take that all day long. I had done basically made that exact same cast. Got that buzz bait broke in a little bit now though.
sick of the dog on me. He opened the door, just let him out at me. All right, if you can still see me, that's gonna do it. We was out here for, I don't even know how long, two hours, hour and 45 minutes, something like that. So uh, maybe longer, I don't know. Only caught three keepers, but had two nice ones there at the end. Like I said, this place been fishing tough. And uh, surprisingly, we caught largemouth and had a couple of spot bites, but none that got it. But uh, expected to catch some pound and a half, two pound spots. And instead we caught some two pound largemouth, but we shall take it. And uh, fun to get out here and just throw a jig and a buzz bait, catch them on a buzz bait. Everybody loves throwing top butter, but appreciate you guys watching. If you like these type of videos, leave a like, leave me a comment on some of the questions I asked and we shall see y'all. Let's roll.